Uh, maybe 500 ELO now is what 1,000 ELO was before. I, it's hard to say. But uh, Scalpa, at the moment, please don't kill more than one sheep. Okay. We have a low ELO legend right here. Uh, remember, if I laugh, if I sigh, if I get upset at all throughout this game, it's because I'm an emotional being and I really, really care for Scalpa's Age of Empires 2 future. Every person who's featured in a YouTube video with low ELO legends has contacted me and said, really appreciated the video, had a lot of laughs, something along those lines, as, and that I helped them improve. So, to the 5% of people, and I, I totally understand this, to the 5% of people who might think, wow, T90, you're being kind of a jerk. I'm not trying to be a jerk. That's why I've clarified this ahead of time. We're just trying to have a good time. Now, what you shouldn't do is do what Blue has done, because if you do that, you're going, your food's going to be rotting away. However, what you also shouldn't do is not create villagers out of your town center, and that's what Red is doing. Red has the more efficient shepherding. However, he has not created a new villager yet. Oh no, he's actually created one new villager. So, it's a Black Forest game. Uh, now he's building a house because he doesn't have the pop space. So yeah, this, so far, Scalpa is off to a lightning fast start. Chopping the straggler trees, because efficient lumbering is not something that he likes in his town. I swear to God, it's like, it's so funny to me how the one thing that's consistent amongst low ELO legends is that they always chop the straggler trees. Always. But okay. At least Blue's keeping that town center creating. He hasn't really moved his scout around. <laughs> um... Now he's making a house, now he's making another villager. Is Red making more vills? Okay, Red is making more vills. No build orders. It's very possible there's no hotkeys either. This... I want Drugas to win. Alright, because he seems to be the weaker player. But, we'll see. I can't have any casters bias. <laughs> is it on Explored? Yep, it's on Explored. Oh, man. Oh, this just reminds me of a simpler time. That's what it does. It reminds me of a simpler time. It, it reminds me of a time when <laughs> I didn't know build orders were a thing. There were no YouTube channels, <laughs> no Twitch channels. <laughs> We've all been here. So I just feel, oh no, he's still sending them to the lumber, but he hasn't sent it to a tree. And the lumber camp's finished, so they're just staring at it. Oh, boy. Oh, man, how many Vils are going to stare at the lumber camp before he realizes here? I It doesn't seem like he's seen... Oh, no, he's realized. Okay, he's got it. I mean, at least he's placed the lumber camp. Red. Oh, he's going to gold at 10 pop. Oh, no, it's too early. He still hasn't created Vils. I think this is... I think this is too low elo legend. <laughs> I, re I really do. I think it's too low elo legend. He has three on food. He's not creating any new villagers. He's at eight villagers and blues at 15. He hasn't moved his scout at all. I don't know what he's focusing on right now, actually. I seriously have no clue what he's looking at because nothing's moving. Is he just waiting? For Feudal Age? I bet you he's waiting for Feudal Age. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Blue has double the economy. I mean, Blue's doing some things which are pretty low elo as well, right? Like, his TC's idle. It's just idle less often. His scout's not moving. But he is creating new villagers. So that let that be number one tip for you. Create new villagers because then you'll bring in more resources. Barbaric's is never too low. I think this will get interesting in late game. Way to sell it. Barbaric is... You should be a caster, man. Do you see that? This isn't too low. I think this will be interesting in late game. Have you seen the Mally and Frank late game on Black Forest before? Can you see their APM? Um, I can see it pretty clearly and it's not high. <laughs> no, no. Um, I can't see their actions per minute. I could put blue on view lock, possibly. I, view lock only works on the host, and I think the host is always blue. Let's see if this works. Send forth the flaming well, 
Ty for getting me back to oh. 2 Oh! Won my first ever ranked match yesterday. Was a Slav sneak attack noob a piece on BF. T90 inspired. I don't think Viewlock works. He's just... He's now housed. Guys, Red is catching up. Red is catching up. Red is catching up. This is a game. He's catching up with the Vil count. Let's go. Oh, wow. He's going to stone at 14 population, too. There's actually no way that you can use stone in Dark Age. Except by maybe building outposts, I guess. So, the point is here, you don't need gold and stone in Dark Age. But, a little bit of everything... He's catching up! Whoa! He's five villagers behind! He went from being eight villagers behind to five villagers behind. Oh wow, blue is going crazy with the houses. Okay. Okay. Nice. He still has these villagers. So one tip I would give blue is just send your new villagers to a resource so they don't just sit there like this. This is what Fat Slob does. <laughs> And I know that for many of you, Fat Slob is your hero, uh, but that doesn't mean you have to live like him. All right. Is Red still creating villagers? He is, or he was. He's catching up. Now he's going very heavy on berries. I I don't think these guys are gonna. Oh, oh no. Oh man, blue rang the bell and killed Red Scout. That is a low elo legend thing to do. You see that there's sheep being eaten here, so you just run right for it and die to the town center. F's in the chat to pay respects. You tried there, Drew Giz. You tried. But you're catching up economically. You're catching up. Captain Sack, what a name. He donated $5 and said thank you for getting me back into AoE 2. Won my first ever ranked match yesterday was a Slav sneak attack noob a piece on Black Forest, T90 inspired. I'm glad I could inspire you, man. <laughs> Slav sneak attack, huh? Is he going to go Feudal Age now? Oh, <gasps> he's on his way! Only two vills behind, and Blue's also on his way. And Blue, notice how none of them have walled the center. Blue, he wants to attack. He's making a barracks. And he, he is going crazy with that, too. Alright, Scalpa 62. Do you think he was born in 62? How old would that make him? Why else would he choose 62? He either graduated or was born in 1962. How old would that make him? Someone do the math for me. 69? Does it actually? 58? He died in 62? Oh man, that's brutal. He would be 59, alright. So this is someone's dad out here. Oh, he's making militia! Wow. He's going for the... The 15 minute man-at-arms rush. Okay. Lots of farms. It makes me cry that he built all those farms before he got the free farm upgrades as Franks. Because Franks get free horse collar and the farms last longer. But that only starts in Feudal Age. Oh, wow. Instant Wheelbarrow. Nice. Instant Wheelbarrow. At this point, Builders are out the window. And wow, uh, apparently getting housed is out the window, too. Peaceful little town we have here. Oh! He's housed now, but he won't be. And he also is going to get Wheelbarrow instantly. Zoomwald says, is Instant Wheelbarrow bad? I always do that. Okay, so... It's not bad if you're in this position. It's really not. Like, I'm not going to hate on any eco upgrade, ever. If you don't really know build orders, just get your eco upgrade. So no, it's not a big it's not a big deal. Basically, it makes the current villagers you have more efficient. When you only have 21 villagers, I mean, if we're looking at competitive play, it's not really the time for it. Normally, it's around 30, but I wouldn't stress it. Main thing with the stress is, why do you have three on gold and you're not using gold? That, that could have been on wood or food, you know, and you could have more balanced eco. Uh, why has Red sent one to Stone and Dark Age, and he's not using it either? Like, you know, it seems like a very low elo thing to see, oh, I need gold, oh, I need stone at some point, let's just start in Dark Age. So, 
Yeah, if you want a castle, go fast castle. So collect food and gold to get there. And then go to stone while you're on your way up. That's normally the... You're normally there much faster. But, hey. You know, I, I can't hate as much on the eco balance. Uh, no! Don't get supplies! Oh, no! Listen, supplies is a good tech. But all these low-level level ELO players are researching it at the wrong time. So, take a look at this. Barracks, supplies. Costs 150 food and 100 gold. And it means your militia line costs 15 less food. So, what he's done was he created these at full cost, then researched supplies. And he has not made use of that upgrade at all. So, I think he's just clicking the upgrade because he sees it in there. I don't think that a low elo player reads it. I think they just see, oh, I want to upgrade these dudes somehow, so let's click it. So if you're gonna go, if you really want the upgrade, if you like to supply yourself, then get supplies first, and then the units are a bit cheaper. Doesn't make sense to research that after you've created units. But in general, that upgrade, again, talking about more competitive play, it makes more sense in situations where you're in Castle Age and have a lot more economy. But... The villagers are pumping out of blues TC. They're not pumping out of reds TC. Oh no, they are. Okay, so... Wow, okay. And he really wants to defend from... Okay, he has a partially built barracks that he bailed on here, next to the wood line. And now he's also building a blacksmith next to the partially built barracks. I can only imagine he's, he's afraid of... Uh, Bigfoot? If Bigfoot might be wandering these woods, you never know. Just install a trail cam on the side of the barracks, and you can see what's going on. Oh no, finish the barracks! Finish the barracks! Why did you... Why is that at 85% and not finished yet? <laughs> oh, he... Okay, I know. He wants to get it ready, just in case military arrives. And the opponent will think that he has no defense, and then... Boom! Barracks finished. I see. Okay. Makes sense. Alright. Whoa, okay. Blue has... Man-at-arms. Is he patrolling? He's patrolling. Wow. He's making archers. He has a spearman. Now, he's not patrolling the front of his base on the hill to defend his gold miners because the scout is supposed to tell the people when the military needs to be on the hill. It wouldn't make any sense to waste energy to walk to the hill now and wait for any upcoming military attack. Makes a lot more sense to sit behind all of your eco and arrive when the time is right. Hey, blacksmith. The, the core thing here is, is blue is keeping his town center producing, which is important. <laughs> oh, that's so harsh. Someone in the chat said maybe he thought the patrol button was an upgrade. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, I, I remember my noob days, and I remember I liked the patrol because it looks really cool. It looks cool. I didn't necessarily do it for attacking reasons. Okay. He's building a lumber camp over here with one villager while he has... Uh, 15 on wood on this side, so hopefully he adds more villagers over here. Uh, he's getting close to clicking up. Okay, Red now finishes the barracks. He must have sensed that Blue had military somewhere, so he's finished the barracks. Guys, this is close! This is really close. Can you guys remind me their elos again? They could. He could click up. He could go Castle Age. And he does have stone for a castle. Okay, now he's making an archer range with this villager who has to walk a long distance to get there instead of this villager because he doesn't want his people to be overworked. So, that that's good thinking. And he's on his way to Castle Age. And so is Blue. So is Blue. Okay, now, either player could stonewall the center. Um, they have not done that, so <laughs> any attack is going to be a huge surprise. I don't know what the plan is for Druga's. I imagine he wants to build a castle. 
and I hope he builds it in the front of his base. I just have a feeling he's going to build it like in the back of his base. He's already built his buildings up against the trees he will want to chop later. Neither player has lured a boar, that's fine. There's a lot of people out there who don't lure boars. I'm aware of that, YouTube. I know. I know the people out there who feel like... There was a comment, and it was... I think the comment said something like, T90 laughs at me at player losing a villager to a boar. And then the follow-up to that was, I feel personally attacked. <laughs> um, I know, alright? There's so many different skill levels in AoE 2. The funny thing is, Blue could also build a castle. Uh, you need 488 stone to build a castle as Franks. T90, do you find noob games harder to cast because they're un they are following no meta or foreseeable structure? The, the thing that makes casting noob games hard is I don't want to be too harsh, but I also don't want to be a boring person. Oh, he wants the castle there! Let's go! Please tell me you're building it with more than one villager. Please... Oh, no. That's so risky. Why one villager? Now, again, he's getting handcart. That's an eco upgrade. I'm not going to stress over him getting that. But why there? Blue could deny that with his scout, man. Blue hasn't sent any units forward. Even if you're the biggest of noobs, just like click a random unit into your opponent's base. And who cares if you lose it? Just click it, you know? Blue also is getting handcart now. Okay, so if you combine their current elos, you get the elo you start at, alright? So if you're out there like, wow, I could never play online, I have a feeling that you could compete, alright? I want everyone out there who's hesitant to play online to realize you're not alone, okay? You're not alone. And Drugiz and Scalpa are putting more emotion and energy into this game than any game I've seen in a long time. This is legendary. Oh god. <sighs> Has any player scouted? Yeah, Red scouted Blue's Town Center arrows, and he lost his scout. Blue has not scouted a single thing, and this is a spec bug, so no, he doesn't know about the farms. Uh, I guess that castle's gonna go up, and after the castle goes up, Red is going to click up to Castle Age? He needs to check his idle villagers. I mean, we very well may be looking at players who do not have hotkeys at all here. Or or just like TC, house, and villager hotkeys. Wait, what did I say? What did you say? You guys said castle? Did I misspeak? What did I say? Did I say they might not have castles at all here? I meant to know. I meant to say hotkeys. What? Oh, I said he'd click up to cow. Okay, okay, sorry. Imp, imp. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Oh, okay. Alright, so Red is experienced. He knows he needs to add extra town centers. And he wants to be really safe. So he's building the town center with her in the very back of the map. Okay. And he's on his way to imp. It's a fast imp. It's a 1TC push. Whoa, and he's going for Jibetos. He has chosen his unit composition. He likes those female warriors. Let's go. And, okay, I have to say, the army positioning from Blue was dreadful, but the castle position is good. And Blue is also getting a lot more upgrades. He has um, researched attack for, like, melee attack. He's researched fletching. He's also now researching bodkin arrow, which I assume is either for the archers or the castle or both. Um, the downside of that, okay, now he's making a stable. The downside of that is he now doesn't have a lot of food for other things. Oh, but he also added a second town center. Now his first town center isn't working, but that's because you don't want, you don't want overpopulation to be a problem. So you have to colonize other areas and then populate that area. And once he gets about like, 35 villagers here, then... You know, there's not enough food to go around. Then you need to add another town center way over here. Far away from the rest. Um, red is... 
Is he going to produce out of this TC? He has not built it yet. Oh, also no loom for him. That blue does have loom. Okay, new TC is up. I just have a feeling he's going to forget about this. And that that bear is eventually going to claim a life. Yeah, Blue's TC is in an awesome spot. Yeah, he has the boars there too if he wanted it. Wow, he's getting a lot of upgrades. Okay, so I want to talk about this because in my low elo legends episodes, there's a lot of people who say, T90, I just get all the upgrades because I don't know what does what. If that is you, please type a 3.5 in the chat. So here's the deal. That's fine when you're an imp, but that bothers me when you're not an imp because you're investing all the resources you could use to go to the Imperial Age into random techs, which might not do anything for you, right? So especially in Blue's position, you have a castle on the hill. You don't know what's what. You're struggling keeping your town centers producing. That's fine. Don't research husbandry for knights you don't have. Don't research pikemen to counter units you don't see. And don't get bodkin arrow for archers to counter units you don't see either. Instead, go Imperial, then start getting every witch tech. Alright? Does that make sense? That's the only thing I have to say about that. I totally get it. I'm not against people getting techs. If you don't know, you don't know. That's fine. But don't... It's the timing of it that bothers me. Also, this is what we call a Tetris mining camp. <laughs> and because of the Tetris mining camp, Red can't take these four tiles of gold properly. So please try and keep a one tile spacing or even a two tile spacing between your golds and your stones so all villagers can fully saturate it. All right. Blue just built his second market, which means I assume he forgot he built the first. <laughs> I think he forgot about the first one. He just thought, oh, I need a market. I guess he doesn't have a go-to-market hotkey. Fair enough. They blend in sometimes. It's like a chameleon market. They really blend in with the terrain. Um, and I bought food. So he wanted to go Imperial. So, Jibetos are a mobile infantry unit. And they're really low HP with high attack. So it's actually, it's probably one of the worst units a low-rated player can go for. Because it's very micro-intensive, and they're very low HP. Send forth the flaming so I fear, I fear for Drugiz, but he's just booming. This is very helpful and entertaining for noobs like me. Thank you. Dude, Zero, thank you for the tip, man. No, I'm glad I can help. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to poke fun. We're trying to have a good time. Oh, a university, okay. My favorite part about this is that the people, they're going to learn that you should rebuild lumber camps when your villagers are walking 20 tiles to get a tree. That's what they learn at the university. So that's why he hasn't refreshed his lumber camp yet. He's going to learn in the university about lumber camp efficiency. He is pumping out vills out of his town centers. And it's 45 villagers for Drugas and 48 for Scalpa. I feel like Blue's army, it's, it's, it's like an expired bag of Chex Mix. You have everything that you might want, but it's all disgusting. Like, man, I'm kidding. I would eat an expired bag of Chex Mix, but Cav Archers with Franks, really not what you want. Archers, really not what you want. Champion or Man at Arms, no. Pikeman, no. I mean, it depends, right? I think it would be wiser and better use of his time to send his freaking scout in, see what's there, and then, you know, adapt from there. But that's not how low ELO legends play. What they do instead is... is the best. This, this is what's going to happen. And I actually... This is precious to me. This I love. They're going to create one army. Whoever wins, wins. And then GG. <laughs> just like one big fight. They're not going to fight and then make more units. No, just one big fight. That's exactly what's going to happen. Wow, okay, so... Is he making... Is he getting a relic? Oh, he's going to get a relic! Let's go, dude! And also, like I said, he researched Lumber Campology in the university. 
So now he knows about the efficiency of lumber. Red just has the Gebetto sitting inside of the castle. Dude, Zero, thank you again for the $20 tip, man. That's that's a lot of... That's a lot of dollars. Uh, Waffle Basket, thank you for the new sub. Oh, wait, no. Waffle Basket hosted me for one viewer. Damn it, you got me. Uh, Ragno, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub with five months. If Blue would research architecture in his town, then he would know that maybe placing your buildings up against the edge of the map so it doesn't clog your eco would be better. I'm kidding. Architecture actually just gives your buildings more HP. But I would like to believe that that would help him gain that knowledge. Um... I like the amount of farming we have from Red. Like, he has more food income. Actually, no. Blue has more food income. Okay. So he has Cavalier on the way. He has Heavy Cav Archer on the way. He's just getting every tech, man. Oh, and he's taking a boar! Yo, he didn't do this in Dark Age! Alright. He's also researching treadmill cranes so he can build his houses faster. Nice. Jabroni, how about you calm down, man? Jabroni, you have to give them time. Alright, this is this is a work of art right here. You can't rush greatness. This is good. So thankful of you for casting this no wall mod black. <laughs> it might as well be no wall mod. Uh, I want to. I'm really excited to see how much they'd freak out about the bear. At some point, they're going to encounter. A, a, oh, they already did encounter the bear. Oh, never mind. Did he lose a vill to the bear? I think he must have. He must have. Yeah, he must have got T90 rard because that villager's. Like, barely took any damage. That was probably just the last remaining hit from the bear. Anyways, map 50 bucks? Dude, gladly. <laughs> gladly, thank you. Matt and I were making bets yesterday on low elo legends. I just feel like... Blue has so much military, all you should go for is the highest HP unit he can get, and that's Paladin. Frank should go for Paladin and Throwing Axemen. These villagers, I don't know if they're exiled or what. <gasps> Wait a second, are they... No, they're not stuck. He just forgot about them. The worst thing about these villagers is that they're not idle. Because for some reason they're frozen. And so if you go to check idle villagers, it's not going to show up for him. So he might forget about them forever. Oh my goodness. Every time you play a 53 forest, villagers for Blue and 60 distance. for Drugas, who does have Elite Gebetto and a camel! Two camels! Oh, it's it's from the back stable! Okay, he has 10 camels queued up and then heavy camel. Alright. And now the unique tech for uh, Malians, which I believe is the unique tech. It's Tigui, I think. Town centers shoot arrows? I think. I mean, I don't hate that. What? No. Don't build an out. Why? No. Don't build an outpost there. You have a TC. Why do you need an outpost there? Okay, he canceled it. What was he trying to click? Oh, a farm! <laughs> Wait, can someone tell me when you're in game if the outpost is near the farm? That would tell us if he's using hotkeys or not. I actually don't know that. Or is it on a different screen? It's on a different page? Okay. Wait, some people are saying it is, some people are saying it isn't. Can someone check and send a screenshot and post it in chat? Keep in mind, if you're not subbed to the stream, you get timed out by posting links. So don't post links unless you're a sub or passed along to a mod or something. With HD hotkeys, it's Q... A for house, W A for outpost. Oh, interesting. Okay, I, I don't use that hotkey scheme. That could be it too. All right, so it might be that he's he did use hotkeys there. He just he just misclicked. Fair enough. So you can definitely tell he's putting focus on military. You he could produce more stables to produce the camels to get more, but he's patient, so he's gonna just use one stable. Despite having 1,400 wood, so he should probably make like five stables. 
but speed is not the issue here. <laughs> there, speed, speed has definitely not been the priority for either player. Now, funny enough, wait, don't tell me. Did he just research heated shot? Who was researching heated shot? Did he, who did it? Red? Did Red research heated shot? Oh boy. Here, let me show you guys something. Amazing learn, I'll show you guys something. Heated shot. Towers cause 125% more damage to ships. Castles cause 25% more damage to ships. Well, this is Black Forest, and this is literally the only body of water, so maybe, maybe, he's just covering his bases, guys. You never know. You never know. Maybe Blue will dock at some point, and then he could castle drop it. I mean, he does have a castle next to the water, so he's just thinking ahead. Oh, there's water down here, too. Uh, it's just so cute to me how the Cavalier surrounds the stable. <laughs> Gather points, ain't got no time for that. Gather points, ain't got no time for that. I love his new TC spots, though. I love how Blue's building them on the stones and the gold. By the way, he hacked here. He had all the extra stones and golds. How many relics does he have? I see one here, two. Maybe Red has three? No, Red has one. Oh, I think on DE there's only four. So yeah, I mean, blue has the extra resources, but then again, red, who's getting loom now? That tells us he's ready to venture out of his safe little, cute little town. Um, whoa, and he's getting fortified wall too. Well, you don't have any walls yet. Maybe he wants a stone wall. Um, shoot, what was I going to say? We were talking about something. Oh, red has 5,000 gold. I think my point was... Yes, Blue has more resources, but they have, they've not done the best job at spending the resources. It genuinely seems to me, though, like Red is only going to fight once he's at 200 pop. Is that what we're going to see? I don't think either of them will fight until they're 200 population. Until they're max population. Blue's now researching Onager. Okay. So he's gone Heavy Cav Archer, Halberdier. Two-handed swordsman. He could actually go champion if he really wanted. Cavalier. No defense upgrades. Which is really bad. You need to get defense upgrades. Uh, on your melee units. Hmm. <clears throat> this is cute, man. <laughs> this... I like this. Neither of them have sent a single unit forward to look. Oh! But Red's making trebs. And Red has heavy camel with plus seven attack. He got the other unique tech for Malian. So he has the counter to the Cavalier. And he also has Gabetto. Are defense upgrades more important than attack upgrades? All right, I'll explain this to you. Ready? I'm going to make it simple. Write it down. If you have a ranged unit, get attack upgrades first. Because that affects the range and the damage, which is much needed. Melee units, in general, already have very high attack. And you want to get defense first. Big reason, though, you need to get defense first is... If you have all these Cavalier that have all this attack, that's great. But you're not going to make it to your target if they're hitting you from distance. right? You need to survive to do damage. Um, so he actually got the first armor upgrade... If he gets the Castle Age and the Imp one, he's going to be very strong. Red is going to forget about his Gebettos. <laughs> you think so? Nah, he's building another castle. He wants to make more. He's getting Murder Holes, Masonry, and now... Um, shoot, what's that one called? Is that... No, that's not Two-Man Saul. What am I talking about? I know the name of this. What's the name of that tech? He build faster. Okay. Treadmill Crane. Treadmill Crane. But yeah, again, I, what I like about their play is that they seem to be getting upgrades for the most part. Um, they have stopped producing vills, which is concerning. If they had 50 more vills, they'd have so many more resources. <gasps> oh, blue wants to the castle there. 
He's also sending one vill, but he's also sending a ram. This is it. This is it. This is the attack we've been waiting for. Choo choo. Look at those wooden wheels roll. What? Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa, boy! Red is here! Red is on the move! Red! There's a castle there! There's a castle there! Go, 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 go! Oh, the castle's been deleted? Blue bales on it? Let's get this party started! Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's a nasty hill to run up, Red! Did he click the treb? Okay, no, he's actually kind of patrolling, kind of not. I don't know what we're seeing. Blue, send in the cab archer, send in the halb, send in everything, let's go! Let's go! Blue has more military units, he has 70 military units. And funny enough, cav archers are actually kind of good in this situation. Even though they're frank cav archers, and it's not such a good move. Red, don't pack up those trebs yet. Don't pack up those trebs. No! Kill the castle! Kill the castle! No, he's bailing! He's freaking out. He's gonna roll back home. Uh, and now the Cavalier are coming in. Now, what is Red's response? Is Red producing more? Okay, he's producing Gebetto. He's falling back, and I think Blue will freak. I mean, Red needs to roll his Trebs back. He'll probably lose them. That's why you should have just committed to killing the castle. Alright, the counterattack is on. So it's only Gebetto. Again, the really low HP units. So, camels are great here. A camel, you should definitely make camels, but I don't think he... Hey, after that attack, he's probably thinking, wow, those units don't work, let's stop making those. But no, heavy camel, counter the cavalier, they also counter the cav archers, it was just the castle fire and numbers. <laughs> this, is, this is the sad thing about a noob game. We might have just waited all this time for the game to end here. But Blue, protect your trebuchets with something more than an archer, please. Is that all you have to protect yourself? Is a freaking archer? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, and now the Gebetto's back up. Micro God from Red. And Blue also fails to kill a castle. <sighs> okay. Well, the economy has just fallen apart, right? You got idle villagers everywhere, full focus on military. Uh, Pikemen, not a bad move with Malians. They do have high pierce armor. I don't hate that. I also like the fact he's repairing this castle now. What is Blue doing? Blue is researching Paladin. Out of one stable, he really needs to get the final armor upgrade. If he gets the final armor upgrade, it's easy game. Well, actually, Red's making a lot of Pikemen, so... The ideal composition for Franks would be um, would be throwing axemen and cavalier. Boink. Blue sends out a bombard cannon, is tempted by the Gibettos, and loses two hundred twenty-five wood and two hundred twenty-five gold, just like that. It is not easy to control units. I understand that, um, but this has been a very very close low elo game. Who are you guys rooting for? I don't know. I'm like, on one hand, Blue had the better map. On the other hand, Druga's had a pretty good fast imp build. Okay, chat is torn. Alright, some people want blue, some people want red. Red, he attacked first. Wow, our criteria for rooting for people is, is really not it's really not that specific. Rooting for red because he fought first in war. Okay. That's a lot of military. This is just not going to work for you, Scalpa. You could cut through the trees with onagers, but no, the two, the capped ram strategy, this is what started it all off, man. You pissed red off by sending a ram forward. Now again, high pierce armor on these pikes. Seven pierce armors. So they actually, they hold their own against cav archers. And the cav archers lack bracer and, and th then the defense and well, I won't even get started on why not to make frank cav archers. Makoto says, I'm laughing, but honestly, this is how I would play if I went multiplayer. See, that's what I want people to realize. 
Right? So if you're like, haha, judgy judge, I'll, I think most people play like this. Okay, now blue has. He's making petard! Red's making petards! Don't make petards! They don't work versus units! Oh, he is healing up his units, though. That's good. That's good. He, he needs houses. All right. Wow. Okay. He's not messing around with these houses. Who's building it, though? Who's building the houses? Oh, this villager from the other corner. Okay. She has to get here. She's taking some time. There's no rush here. He just grabbed the villager from the other corner. So here she is. All right. And she'll get she'll get to building those houses. She's got this. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 30, 30. We have a lot of pop space upcoming. I would love to see more onagers from blue. I, I think that would be a nice move. Um, onagers are really hard to control, though, and so often you'll see players kill their own units. Did blue just have to chop his trebs out? What a legend! He chopped his trebs out. I guess those villagers were bugged there earlier. Alright, this is what he can see. This is It's about to go down. <gasps> the ultimate showdown! Oh god! Oh god! He's clicked everything together! Ah! 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 Um... No, 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 no! Cl patrol or something! No! Fight, Red! I think he's clicked the trebs. He can't control the units, but I think Red will win. I think Red will win. I think Pikeman and Elite Gebetto is way better. And so Blue has his trebs attacking Red's trebuchet. <gasps> the Onagers! Rawr! Boom! Boom! Man, wouldn't wouldn't camels be helpful there? Or light cab or something to take out the Onagers. What a fight! What a fight! But in the end, I think that Blue comes out on top. Uh, Red ran up into the archers, so there was a reasoning for making them. And now Blue is getting the final armor upgrade for the Paladins. And now... Oh! <laughs> The petards! <gasps> no way! No way! No way! Dude, attack the trebs, please! Please! No! He could have actually killed the trebs with the petards, that's the funny thing. Oh, man. Alright, quick, make more petards. Make more petards. Oh, get the trep? Get the trep? Oh! Oh. Red could be dead. Those paladins finally have finally have the armor upgrade. 192 HP, 18 attack and full armor. Blue should win this now. Oh, that's all right. Red's got a backup castle waiting. No urge, no sense of urgency needed. That's how confident he is. Um. Blue is producing seven more halbs and two more paladins. So he produces them here and then sends them forward. Oh. <gasps> Oh, I, I seriously, the one use of the petards, petards there, sorry, would not have been against units, but against the trebs. Please do not be, see, be deceived by my uh, exploding villagers uh, mod and all those crazy community games where petards are stronger. Petards are very weak against units, especially paladins. Okay, red, back up. Patience, my friend. Your gather point is set here. Change your gather point to here. Wow, this gather point set really far forward. Make some Jibettos, and I wish he wouldn't have given up on the camels. Camels are so much better than pikes. Pikes are still only 55 HP with 4 base attack. So yeah, red should just... Honestly, if he were to just send the paladins into... If blue were to send the paladins into red eco, red would die. But, um, that's not how these players fight. I think Red just doesn't know. He has so many resources. He has so many resources. Yeah, I think Red, he lost that camel fight earlier for other reasons, and so he's just discounted camels as a good idea. I mean, Gebetto Pike isn't awful. It just makes me sad. He's not producing. He's probably freaking out. Blue is making four trebs from this castle. His only castle, by the way. Four trebs. So he wants more siege. 
<clears throat> Wishes are Catholics donated three dollars, and he said, "I cast the stream to my TV." Last time I watched the stream drunk, I went to press a button as you opened the tech tree. Drunk me thought I could open the tech tree on my controller, and got super annoyed. <laughs> oh man, well, drunk me, drunk you, is gonna have some great entertainment tonight, because the Pike and Gebetto combo is actually pretty good. Yo, Red came out of nowhere with these. I didn't realize he had that many Gebetto. And don't tell me he's gonna save his castle. He could save his castle. One more hit, the castle's down. <gasps> oh, he clicked the Onager first. Okay, that castle goes down then. But the Trebs go down, and Red's back in it, baby! Red's back in it! Drew Giz, Drew Giz, let's go! This is like, this is like Roger Federer and Novak Djokovic if they were gamers. No, no, no. This is like Roger Federer versus Novak Djokovic if they were in their 70s. Still very close, just they don't have all the mechanics down, all right? I mean, my goodness. Blue keeps going back to his individual buildings to get more reinforcements, so it's going to take some real time waiting for more cav archers, more halves, and more paladins. He does not need more buildings. Hmm. And <laughs> red is building... <laughs> red, red really likes that spot for castles. Red is actually doing better because of his production. He went for four barracks versus one. Multiple castles versus one. Whew. This is intense. I, I don't know. Listen, I know you guys on YouTube, Twitch, and MySpace really like low elo legends, but I don't know if my heart can take too much of this. <laughs> Like, there's a reason we only do this every once in a while, because this is so good. <laughs> oh, man. You guys don't watch on MySpace? I still have a big MySpace following. Look at the production! You shift queue those units, bro. You shift queue those units. So if you're gonna fight like this, make sure you have a big... You pack a big punch and then have a lot of trebs following up. So, right now, two or three trebs isn't working. Go for eight. Now, that could be really bad if you lose the trebs. I, I will admit that. But it seems like they're struggling with, with finishing off the castles and taking the hill. My space lol, my micro is like 140 years old. Fedra <clears throat> feels bad man. Uh, type a kappa in the chat if you also feel like your micro is like a 140-year-old Roger Federer. Hmm. Also, Blue did not get that relic. Or this relic, which really hurts. Also, Red continues to make Petards. Petards are very good versus buildings, but quite situational. Normally, they're very good for busting through walls. Oh, actually, there's another relic here. So there are five relics on this map, but Blue didn't get any of them. Guys, I think this is Blue's last stand. Because he doesn't have enough resources to keep producing what he's producing. He has 65 gold, and that's it. I think this is his last stand. I don't know if he can hold from this. Hmm. Who called that Red was going to come back late game earlier? Well... To be honest, it's you have a 50% chance. <laughs> it's not like you could guess that someone was going to win early game. <laughs> we knew that wasn't going to happen, so <laughs> you had a 50% chance. Congratulations, though. I'm proud of you. Oh, there's a villager. What? Forward guard tower! Forward guard tower. Okay. And the Trebs are here, and Red is saying, Blue, come out, you coward, and fight me. Fight me, you fool. This guy, if he just built one more house, would actually be a 200 pop. And the Gibetto Pikeman is going to... It's going to kill Blue. It is going to kill Blue, and Drugis will be a low elo legend. Now, it's a low elo game, so they probably won't call it for another 35 minutes. But I, I foresee that if Red just fights this properly, Blue's dead. 
Blue is dead. He just produced more. Imagine, imagine if Blue had 125 military as Franks. He could go Halb, Paladin, Halb, Axeman. He just produced more. And Pikemen are really cheap. They don't cost gold. It's quite a difficult combo to, for Franks to fight, I will say. But it, it also has a lot to do with the amount of numbers. Alright, he's upgraded to keep. And he wants to build another one here with one villager. Uh, she's probably going to die. <laughs> nope, she's running back. She's retreating. <laughs> she's retreating. <laughs> I can't tell if she's retreating or if she just can't path to the tower she wants to build. No, I think I think the pike and the what what Jibetos are left are going to win this. Blue loses the fight on the hill. More units come in. Look at this production from Drugis. And the Batards, which are on the way, is just icing on the cake. 70 population for Scalpa. 169 population for Drugis. The houses are going down. Everything's falling apart. The Trebs will go down. The Onagers will go down. Oh, he's rung the town bell. Save the people before it gets worse. Uh, town bell is just... It's a sign of defeat at this point. Wow. Like I said, with enough trebs, you can really make it count. But it was the army, man. It was the army. How grateful do you think this boar is that he wasn't killed in this game? Actually, he's very weak. But uh, I'd rather be weak and alive than... I'd, I'd rather be horribly maimed and barely living than dead. I think. And probably not. Oh, <laughs> here come the petards! Let's go! Let's go! Red's protecting a siege. Hmm. Okay, blue at this point is panicking. So he's producing more paladins. More halbs. And where's his archery range at? Oh, did he build a new one? He built a new one after that one got trapped down. Okay. And now he's making skirmishers. Blue, if you just build more production buildings, if you get your relics, and if you pick one or two units to stick with, you're good. But what you did in this game is you sprinkled everything in, and you didn't produce enough of it, and you didn't get relics, which hurt your economy. <laughs> Look, this is Blue's point of view. This is Blue's point of view. Oh my god. Charge! No, just use your trebs, man. Just just pack up your trebs. There he goes. He realizes. I also love... Does anyone else love how Red heals his army? That's great. You could just fight with the army and produce a couple hundred more men, but Red really cares about the people in his town. <gasps> ah! Ah! No, Red. Red! Red! I actually have somewhere to be tonight. No, no, don't lose your trebs. Don't lose your trebs. Patrol, fight. Okay, he's got it. He had. It's fine. He had it under control. He had it under control. A big problem he's making is he's clicking units. Oh, blue, he's giving it up. Hey, this will work if red never fights back. Where is he going? And there's a female villager in there too. Uh. Guys? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Are they on no attack stands or what is happening? What is that? Oh, they're on stand ground. He has them on stand ground. He has them on stand ground. No. He can't possibly throw this, right? Villagers are killing his trebs. Oh, he keeps clicking them because he doesn't realize they're on stand ground. <laughs> Blue, you can win. You could actually win this. If Red continues to play like this, you could win. Red Red has frozen, man. He is stressed. 
Okay, now he's gone back, he's going to produce more pikes. He's sending them to here, so we'll have to gather them up and send them forward. Uh, 49 pop for blue. The guy has 3,000 stone, by the way. 3,000 stone. It's alright. This is fine. Listen, to all my subs out there, let's send some words of encouragement to the players. This is fine. Alright? Now, Stand Ground did make a whole lot of sense there, because he didn't want his units just attacking anything they saw and getting out of position. But he just forgot to put them on attack stance. What are their ratings? Uh, whoever wins this will make it to the top 10 of the world. So, Viper, look out. Oh, man. 39 population, Scalpa. Um, he's not producing more vills. He's not rebooming. He's only at 40 pop. He's still only producing units out of one building. So one barracks, one archer range, one stable, one of everything, except for houses, I guess. Here comes the pointy boy to attack the treb, and the pointy boy will die. Red's just waiting for reinforcements. Red is going to win this game. Whoa, he's also upgrading crossbow and getting thumb ring in that archer range. So he, he realizes he might need some ranged units, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, just send vills forward and build buildings here. And then you no longer have to go back here. You have you have 11k wood. Just send some vills forward. Boom. What are the odds that... I mean, this is, this is really low elo, right? What are the odds that Blue doesn't resign until his last villager is killed? <laughs> Blue has two markets. Yeah, he forgot he had the first one, and then he built the second one. I remember that. I, I would say that odds are pretty good that Blue might not resign until he's below 20 pop. Because at this point... Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see this. He's going to lose his archer range. Will he produce one more? Because remember, he likes that ratio. If he reacts to losing the archer range by building one more archer range, I'm act it's actually going to upset me. Because that means he realizes how many he has. And he could make more next time. Oh, red stone count! He has 69 stone, 67 villagers. If he creates two more, it's the winning winning ratio. Yeah, keep sending in individual units. It is 50 military versus the one you keep sending in, blue. Another archer range. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, please, can you build two this time? I just want you to make progress. That's all I want for you. Can you make a second one? You have the wood. Just make make two. Two is better than one. Oh, man, this poor guy. <laughs> he doesn't... <laughs> he doesn't realize it's over yet. But Red won't kill him. Red... Red is making more petards! Style points! Let's go! Style point victory! Okay. Listen, chat. We've all been there, okay? We've all been this person. We've all been blue. We've all been red. I, I remember the days where I played like I like blue did here, right? Hilarious. Now, I'm not saying you can't laugh. I'm just asking, relate with your laughter. <laughs> oh, he's making cav archers again. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, archers it would be good. But cav archers is so expensive. <clears throat> Alright, here come the petards. This, this is a lot more effective than trebs, apparently. So here they come. Please, please go for something of, of value. Like, go for a stable. Don't go for a market or something wacky. Where is he going? That's the market. Well, Blue has built... Blue built two markets because he was predicting this could happen. So, we made fun of Blue earlier because he built a second market, but he actually just thought ahead. So, 300 IQ from Blue... He should have built 
uh, archer rangers as well. Okay, now blue has lost the stable, and he has a mining camp, which is on fire. Okay, he lost the barracks. So now he is stableless, barracksless. He only has his archer range. He did take out one trap. Pokey, pokey, poke. That blacksmith is going down. I take it red is now going to go for the monastery. Guys, this is super expensive, by the way. Just make rams or traps. <laughs> this is super expensive. Boom. Monastery's down. All right. Another stable? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another stable? Now, you're missing the barracks. Alright, the ratio is off. You need to make a barracks now. Quick. Quick. He's pushing you. I, I hope that Red doesn't lose another trip, because uh, it's going to take forever for this game to end. Then. <laughs> Red is still making petards. Alright. Blue, you're at 40 pop- HOUSES?! You're petarding HOUSES?! Just- oh, dude, just make a ram! <laughs> just make a ram! Ah! <laughs> oh, GG! GG, we can't actually see in-game chat. Now, I know what it is. <clears throat> Blue realized that he couldn't- he couldn't afford a barracks. So he decided to tap out. Whoa. Wow. That zapped a lot of my energy. However, that was great. That was great. Um, we can't see the KD. Thanks, DE. Uh, the KD is broken. But I can only imagine that it was 300 to 300. And it was the closest game you will see this year. Droog is... Had more food and more wood. He actually had less stone and gold. But Scalpa, he, he made a lot of units and threw them away. And I think the key thing for him, he didn't have the total units he needed. So at high levels, what you'll see is you'll see a combination of a trash unit with gold unit. So you make like a lot of halves with Arbalest or a lot of skirmishers with Cavalier. And I think blue didn't really have that combo down. Red actually did. It wasn't the most like it wasn't the most meta combo, but Pike was very cheap, and then Gibetto was expensive but strong. So you could you could do a similar thing with Franks. You could go Halberdier and Paladin. Or you could go Halberdier and like hand cannons or or something. Uh, at least go for like 80 halves with your cav archers instead of leaving your cav archers exposed. But just don't make cav archers, is Franks. <laughs> just just don't do it. Um, there's the timeline, and if that isn't a topsy-turvy game, I don't know what is. Wow. <laughs> that is an interesting timeline. <laughs> okay. But that is also another episode of Low Elo Legends. Scalpa62, if you see this. Drugas, if you see this. Thank you for playing... That was hilarious. We had a good time. I feel like people learned a lot. I hope so anyways. And never stop being you, okay? People will try and tell you to build more than one archer range. But then when you follow your their advice, they haven't specified where you build it, and it ends up on some island somewhere, and then gets memed to death, all right? So, Scalpa, just be you, all right? Because sometimes if you take others' advice, it doesn't end so well. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you would like to stop by and watch this on the Twitch stream in the future, my Twitch link is below in the video description. I don't have a day where I only do low elo legends, but normally, uh, at least recently, I've been doing high level play on weekends and then after near the end, we do low elo legends, okay? So hi YouTube, hi mom, hi dad, um, hi to my ex-girlfriend if you're still listening, I, or if you're listening, uh, please take me back. Uh, I'm kidding. Hope Lorraine. I hope my current girlfriend isn't listening to hear that joke because she wouldn't think that is funny. It's not true either. This is just getting more and more awkward. We have to cut this off. <laughs>